Hello, hello, everybody. I have Metopia speedruns ready to go. <laughs> Specifically, Metopia demo speedruns. Because the demo speedruns are much shorter than the full game speedruns, which are eight hours long. I basically know what to do. So as soon as we pick our personality trait, the run starts. Basically, to explain this run, we have to do the first half of Greenhorn, which is the demo, basically up until we get the horse. And how I'm going to do this run, I have two separate Joy-Cons in my hands right now. For one controller, which makes it easy for me to always keep my right thumb on B, and I can use my left index finger to mash A, and my left thumb to control Ocean. I've only done one of these runs. So, let's get ready. Of course, it's always a good idea to hold B in Metopia because B is the button for fast forward. You can't fast forward through everything, but most things. I hope that my muscle memory is good enough for the parts that I'm thinking about. The starting cutscenes are the longest part of this run. Because they don't fast forward, you can't skip them or anything. Go along. We want to pick default for everything, because the game gives us no extra time for creating me's and picking them and whatnot. And the default ones will always be the same, unfortunately. Okay, so... Up and coming, we're getting to the Dark Lord. I think his name was Stanley. Stan. Close enough. I could be faster on these A presses and everything. But I'm just trying to switch uh, between having my right thumb on B and having it on A for the parts that can't be sped up because it's easier to actually control my movement that way instead of using my left index finger to mash A. If I could mash and hold B with one finger better, that would help, but it's very hard for me. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. And for this, you want to pick Mage. Because magic means that you won't be slowed down by tears. And we don't actually fight any moles, but moles can't dodge magic. And magic does a ton of damage. Plus we get lightning, which is some area effect. Oh, I forgot. We gotta pick auto battle. And the reason why we pick stubborn is because our abilities have like the lowest activation rate. One of them only activates for healing and stuff, which we can't do because we're all going to be mages. And the reason for that is uh, everything I said about the mage earlier. And also, if everyone is the same job, then that means we won't have an animation for a new skill every time we go to use it, which saves time. No, 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 this, no, time loss. No. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Can't just mash A there. I don't know how the world record holder is able to do that. It's quite... Quite hard to be able to go so fast without mashing through that and picking the wrong things. So the fact that world record can do it, that's pretty amazing. Something we also want to be sure to do? Say no to treasures and say no to events. If they happen. But, you know, these ones we can't say no to. So, I'm going to put us in separate rooms because that will also save us some time. That way we won't have to do the friendship gaining animation, and we won't have to do friendship level up animation either. And we're never going to bother doing healing. Or MP sprinkles. Sprinkles waste our time. We don't need that. The run is calculated enough to not have to really use sprinkles except for one boss fight. Not going to buy equipment, feed them food, or any of that, because it's just not faster. And we could go back for the face right now, but we're not going to, because if we just do all the faces in one go after we beat all the bosses, that's the fastest way. 
You gotta go real fast for the speedrun, but it's also pretty relaxing if you're at, uh, entry level. Like, I'm talking super fast and mashing buttons the entire time, but it is pretty relaxing. This speedrun does not have, like, any sort of skips or anything, but I do enjoy it. Like, most of the time I don't enjoy super precise speedruns, but also, it's not that precise. Oops. It's not that precise because it's not a super widely ran speedrun. So this is the branching paths I was talking about. First we do this, we don't continue down the path, we do the one in the bottom left, then we move right, and then we fight the boss on the right. Then we do the boss on the left, and then the boss up on the top. And I believe that the reason we go top, left, and then right is because the enemies up top are the easiest, then these ones should be second easiest, and then right is the hardest. You see, that could be a fight, so you don't want to say yes to that. Now, this is no problem. Oh, not satisfied? Nice. Again. So we took that one out a little early, but it doesn't really make a difference. Not satisfied. That is like a 3% chance of activating. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Fun fact, lightning does slightly more damage than fire to the main target. Which is going to be helpful for... in a second. No! No! Don't explain outing tickets, no! So this shouldn't be too hard. At most, this will take some sprinkling. No! Uh, I selected the wrong one. That's bad. And they attacked the apple jelly even though it was already weakened. So I think now is the time that we sprinkle. MP sprinkles myself. As well as some healing sprinkles. And then we life sprinkles the one that has more MP. Almost dead. I think that we do kill it right about here. Oh, not satisfied. Nice. Easy. Now we're all level 5, so it's smooth sailing from here. Gotta put myself back on auto battle before we fight the next boss. Or while we fight the next boss, I should say. Not satisfied? Nice. Easy. I didn't even need to do anything. This run is, like, really simple and straightforward, and I love it for that. I really enjoy doing it. And the rock should die, and just like that. So now we just go back to Greenhorn. And talk to all the faces. This time is not so bad for my second run, I'd say. I don't think it's last on leaderboard. <laughs> Letter of introduction, and yep. Now we just gotta go do the horse stuff. So the horse part, it's really easy. This fight was kinda just added in to the Switch version. It doesn't even exist in the 3DS version, I'm pretty sure, because the horse doesn't exist. And we're going to give our horse a brilliant name. Beautiful name. There we go. 33 minutes, 48 seconds. Second run. I am... 33 minutes. That puts me at 
11th place. Not bad. I think this calls for a second run. I think that we could at least get 10th place. There is, like, a minute difference between 11th and 10th place. But if we get 10th place, then I'm happy. I am very quiet for long periods of time because I am just mashing. Probably faster than I need to be, but I don't want to not mash. I mean, like, have you ever had mashed potatoes that are just under-mashed? There's too many big chunks of potatoes. You don't want that in a speedrun. You do not want a speedrun full of chunky mashed potatoes. There we go. Nice and easy. And here comes the second teammate. There we go, I actually did that right. Uh, easy path. Thank you. Just two goblins, not easy here. Gonna be a treasure chest. If there is, I'm not gonna take it. Ooh, there's a second fight up here. Uh, it's a, it's a fast fight. That might not actually save us time then. Going the easy path. Yeah, the hard path is actually faster. Okay. Okay, so maybe I should have went bottom, because I think there's an enemy up here. Yeah. Easy bit of time loss. Oh, we hit! Wait, that was good RNG. In Clara. Nice. Get rid of those. Those apple jellies. This is actually a bit of waste of the time. There we go. So that can save you time. That can save you time if you do your sprinkling right after you unlock life sprinkles, if no one's died before that. Continue playing, yes. I don't know if there's RNG to that. I don't know if it just activates after every few levels, after a certain amount of time, or what. This fight and the horse stuff might take us a minute. It'll be a PB, but it won't be by too much. Okay, got a match out of this horse dialogue. And we go and talk to the guard. Thirty-two forty-seven. Not a huge improvement, but a slight improvement. Let's see how that pairs against tenth place. Wait, that's tenth place. Nice. So, with this time. I am able to get 10th place. I'm going to be practicing this run more. It's a fun run. But yeah, I'll see you all next time.